Christy of the Fish and Tales. Nugget. And Don't Nugget. Don't forget Nugget. And Nugget. <laughs> um, we are in Boise, Idaho right now. And we've been yes. here for, what, 10 days or yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Uh, we left <coughs> Springfield, or we left uh, <coughs> Harrisburg and uh, headed over here. And there will be another video that talks all about our actual trip over here. But we've got a bunch of video stuff that we've been putting together for a while and just uh, been very busy with family stuff. My dad lives over here, so mm -hmm. we've been spending a lot of time with family. And my sister came over from London. And so that was kind of very busy. that was kind of what we've been doing for the last week and a half. So I have not had any time to work on videos. So today's video is all about uh, we had the stinky. We had the we had the problem that we've heard other people have. It's the rotten egg smell in your hot water tank. And we started noticing when we take showers. We could notice it a little bit when you had the cold water on, but when you turn the hot water on, it would literally smell the rig up. With yeah, it was... Rotten egg smell, awful. and it just smelled awful. I have a little bit more of a... It's not that it was a pleasant smell for me. I just have a harder stomach, I guess, because he was gagging. I constantly. was gagging. <laughs> if I was, like, trying to do dishes, I was gagging. So either you have to do dishes with cold water, or you just have to... Have a really strong stomach. Um, I guess I have a stronger stomach than you. I guess so. <laughs> Not so, that it smelled good, because it smelled horrible. No, it was awful. So, anyway, <clears throat> it's basically, uh, it, it happens inside the hot water tank, mm -hmm. and it's pretty common. Apparently, a lot of people have had this problem. It so took I did... a while for it to happen. It didn't happen right away. Right, yeah. So, the moral of the story in our case was, um, we had taken the rig in for service, and while it was in service, they had filled up the hot water tank because we had a problem with our uh, sewer lines. And so they needed to get water into the system. And so they had hooked everything up and filled up the tank and all that stuff. The problem is, I guess I just assumed that they would put the whole house filter in. I assumed that they would use clean water or something. We, anyway, we assumed a lot. <laughs> there was Don't a lot of assumptions. They're going to do things that you would do if you were doing the fixing because they don't. They don't put they didn't put the filter in for us. We didn't realize it. We should have checked. That's yeah. on us. You know, and we didn't empty the hot water tank when we picked it up. We just thought it would be fine. No. No, yeah, so the, the, <laughs> the, the moral of the story is, and I'm going to show you the whole process that I'd used to clean it out, and it worked amazing. It's been yeah, fine it's been ever fine. since. But the moral of the story is, if you have your rig mm -hmm. sitting in some sort of a storage or being repaired or anything like that, even for a week or two, not a real long time in this case, whatever you do before you start to use the system... Empty the water out of the hot water tank, flush it out, and then refill it. And yes. so there's a few tools, which I'll put links in the description below, that I used in this video. A couple of them. Most of them I got on Amazon. Some of them we got at Camping World. <laughs> One is not really bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the specialist <laughs> the tool. The special tool that he bought. Specialist tool. Kind of hilarious. Pretty funny. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so thanks for watching the video today, guys. And so if you have ever had the stinky hot egg water. Egg smell. Egg smell. Bleh. Or you start to smell that, then you can refer back to this video of a how-to uh, fix your rig. It was it was really not too hard, just mm -hmm. a step-by-step -step process. Didn't take hardly on any time at all. It was just... Wear sandals when you're emptying the tank because the really super stinky water, you don't want any sort of nice shoes that you're wearing. And uh, and be cautious. Remember, you're, you're letting hot water out of your tank. So. Well, no, you just make sure you turn off the hot water yeah. like a long, long time But before. it still has a little bit. You're still emptying the hot water tank, right? Yeah, but it was totally cold when I did it. It wasn't hot. Okay. Yeah. Just like no, be you... careful because you want to turn things off. Yeah. Make sure that you're doing everything the right way because you do not want to be sprayed with hot water from there. No, that it's would be bad. Really hot. Not only would it be hot, but it would be stinky. Yeah, hot <laughs> and, and stinky. So that would be terrible. 
<laughs> anyway, in this case, the stinky water was not nugget, nugget approved. approved. No. Nugget says no to the stinky hot water. So if you if you get the uh, what is that? It's not an amoeba. It's bacteria. Bacteria. If you get the bacteria in your hot water tank, then you can flush it out, and it's not a big deal, but it does take a little bit of time. So thanks for s watching today, guys. And there will be lots more videos coming, including yes. um, all about our first time traveling with the smart car in the back. Oh, and yes. And all that. Let's the... not spill anything. It's going to be good. So you gotta keep, watch that. keep following the and channel. And there will also be a walkthrough of our rig for any yep, of you who coming. are interested to see what upgrades we've made to our rig different things that we bought to optimize it because there was not enough storage for me. So I bought some things to optimize it and change things a little bit, just a little bit for more for our lifestyle. And if you have any ideas of things that helped you get more storage or optimize your rig, we'd, we'd love, love to, to hear, hear that in the it, comments yeah. because we're always looking for things to give us a little bit more room to be able to put more of our things, not that I need more things, but you know, yeah. that happens you never in know. life. And then uh, the <clears throat> other thing that's happening is that Christy and I are working on a blog so you guys can yes. check out what we're doing besides just watching the videos and everything and engage with us. Yes. So we'd love to and hear I'll from you guys. And I'll have all kinds of subjects on there. One, of, I'll just give a hint of one of the subjects I'm gonna talk about is, you know, how to care for your animals when you're in an RV and you know, what kind of things do people do? to care for their animals and to, you know, keep their animals happy when they're moving from place to place and, you know, grooming, vets, things like that. So that's one thing I'll be discussing. And there'll be lots of other topics as well. So Gardening. Yeah, gardening, because I love to garden and I'm really, really upset I don't have a garden right now. I really want one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, lots more coming. And if you are not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. And also to note that uh, we also have an Instagram account, and I do post stuff on there fairly regularly. I'm not by any means one of those everyday poster sort of people, but there's a lot more regular posts on there of just stuff we're doing, things I see, things that I'm interested <coughs> in. Excuse and me. so if you want to see more of uh, fishtails and engage with us in other channels, then you can check out our Instagram account. And if you have not already subscribe do that if you have somebody else that you know that might like this content please feel free to share it with them and thanks so much talk Nugget to you guys says, soon thank you <laughs> so this is me sitting in the pass through of my rig and i apologize in advance but the audio from the recording that i made originally was super bad because it was windy and my mic wasn't picking up my voice very well so I am inspecting the whole house filter and we found out that the whole house filter didn't have the filter thing in it. So what I did there was I went and turned off the water and the first step of this process is to turn off the water to the house and before you disconnect it from your rig you should have somebody inside turn on a sink until the water runs slowly out of it instead of fast which depressurizes the system so that you don't, when you turn that and open it up, so you don't get sprayed. So that is the first thing that you're gonna wanna do. And then I was trying to figure out where to put that hose, <laughs> which is funny. And this is one of the tools that I use, which I bought at the Camping World. Mm -hmm. And Camping World uh, had most of the stuff that I needed. I'm gonna put links to the description uh, in the description below to the tools that I used to do this work. One of the tools that I used was that little sprayer, which that is used to clean out the hot water tank once you get everything out of there. The other things that I used are in my left hand there, which you'll see momentarily. And basically those are, I got a new diode rod, which is uh, still in the bag. And then I use this little tool wrench, which I got on Amazon. I think it was like 10 or $12. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out as well. And so the first thing I'm doing is opening up that pressure valve on the top of the tank to make sure that it's not still pressurized in any way. It isn't. As you can see, it's not spraying out. 
And so what I'm going to do first, I close up that because I didn't want the stinky water to flow into my water bay. So I'm going to use the tool here. And basically what it does is you're going to unscrew that diode rod that's inside your tank. This is obviously not for a tankless hot water system, but for a tank water system. Uh, it may still apply, though, if you got the stinky water in the little tank. It may still apply. It may. But basically, you're going to press. You're going to turn this thing. You're going to want to, uh, when you reinstall those, you always want to install them by hand and not install them with a tool to begin with because, you know, you, you may cross-thread that and you really, really don't want to do that. So I was picking up the hose here because I didn't want the stinky water from inside there to land on my freshwater hose because that'd be gross. And so as soon as I, I can't imagine why. So as soon as I unscrew this a little bit more, you're going to see me kind of get out of the way because I don't want to get it all over me. Watch out, it's coming. There it comes. Okay, so this is the stinky water. That is a diode rod that has only been in our rig for a maybe a month so it's already showing quite a bit of corrosion so when you first pull that diode rod out it doesn't start spraying really fast because there's pressure in the system but as soon as you release that pressure out of the top it, it allows good. the water to flow really really fast you can't smell it but it smells disgusting It was pretty bad. Rotten eggs. It's good. Hours. Rotten eggs for days. Smell bad. So on this thing, I bought a different type than this. So this this is a regular zinc uh, regular anode, and I bought a zinc aluminum anode. And a zinc aluminum anode is supposed to stop the stink smell from happening. So I'm gonna replace this with this even though this one's still got a lot more to do really what these are intended to do is keep from rotting out your tank and it will do that but this one will keep your tank from rotting and from the stink happening and it was like 13 bucks on Amazon so definitely worth switching to the other one so I'm not going to use this one again all right so the next part of this process is to use the little tool that I got at camping world and basically what this is is attaches to the end of a hose it's got a shut off nozzle on it and then it's got this long kind of wand that's designed to go inside the tank because once that water's come out of there a lot of the debris from inside of the tank comes out but not all of it and so th what this does is it allows me to spray inside the tank up high on the walls everywhere and try to get as much of that debris out of there as I possibly can and the debris that's coming off is actually little bits of the old diode rod because that's literally what the diode rod does is it de it decays so that your tank doesn't decay and so what I'm trying to do is get all of the kind of crusty stuff outside of that tank but this is not what actually gets rid of the smell. This is just kind of the prep work before you try to get rid of the smell. So I'm, I'm doing this prep work, but I'm not going to bore you with this prep work. All right, so the water has run out now. And uh, I saw a couple people suggesting that you buy a clear piece of tubing and uh, a funnel and uh, tape them together be able to get some hydrogen peroxide or vinegar or something in there and I thought well clear piece of tubing and a funnel that that's a beer bong so I was like man I'll just buy a beer bong they're cheap so this is what I got beer beer bong drink up bitches pretty funny <laughs> but it is exactly the right tool for the job I mean look at that it doesn't get any better than that so the next part of the process is to put some hydrogen peroxide or another guy recommended some, some wine vinegar or vinegar. And I ended up using some vinegar because we had some. In addition, I also did some essential oils because another guy recommended that. So I, I watched a whole bunch of videos before I did this process and 
basically did everything because I really, really, really didn't want to do it again. So here I am hand screwing on the uh, the rod to put it back in. I used the dirty rod again because I didn't want to, until it was fully cleaned, I didn't want to put the brand new rod in. So, so I'm gonna, I tightened it up by hand and now I'm gonna tighten it up with the tool. Just tight enough to keep the water from coming back out. And then I'm gonna fill the system up with water again. The other thing that I wanted to do before did anything else. I want to look at this um, filter in here because I have this sneaking suspicion that the filter never was inserted into the filter housing. So I'm going to check that now too. So the official word about the uh, filter housing is no. There was nothing in the filter housing. So I had no filter in my whole house water filter. So that's another reason why I didn't have anything going on. So I'm gonna wash that out right now too. So we had no filter in the filter housing and rather than cleaning it, what we did was I filled that up with some of the hydrogen peroxide along with water and then we ran it, th pumped it through the system and had water plus hydrogen peroxide in the filter and water plus hydrogen peroxide in the tank and basically pumped it through the entire house, turned on all the waters or all of the faucets in the house, the shower in the house, and basically just ran it through everything so that that clean hydrogen peroxide water was pumped through all of the tubes throughout the house. And here I filled up the water filter housing with water and hydrogen peroxide so that that way when I did pump out the system I didn't get a bunch of water bubbles and burping in there. Right here I am filling up the water tank uh, for the first time since I filled it up with the hydrogen peroxide water and that water tank does take a few minutes to fill up and you'll know when it's filled because at the top there where I just pointed my finger, it will start to kind of bubble out. Okay, so it is now just about full. See how it's kind of sputtering still? Gonna wait for it to get more streamy. Now we're good. Go ahead and wash that or clean that out. So at this point, the next step is to go turn on the faucets and things and take a sniff. So uh, after I wiped this off, I went inside with Christy and we ran some water through the system and took a smell and checked out the process to make sure that it had worked. I saw another guy run some vinegar through and another guy that I saw ran some essential oils through. So I'm gonna do both, cause you know, I'm, I'm about, all about thorough. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this thing again and then put some essential oils and some vinegar in to both places and I'm gonna run them through the whole system just because I really, 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 really don't want that stinky smell anymore. And I can handle some essential oils and some vinegar a lot more. So here we go. So I will be curious to see what this looks like. This is my brand new one with the zinc in it um, in just a few months. I'll maybe pull it out and take a look and show you guys. So this is the new diode rod. And I am planning on pulling that out in a few months and showing you guys what that diode rod looks like after a few months of being in the system. So just like before, I'm going to screw it in by hand, make sure that it's not cross-threaded, and then tighten it down with the wrench that I got from Amazon. And then I'm gonna fill it up, and this is the, I've already flushed the system out with the vinegar and the essential oils. So at this point, we have flushed it twice, once with the once with the hydrogen peroxide water and once with the combination of the essential oils and vinegar. 
and ran it through all the pipes in the house until basically we were confident that it had run through. So at this point, I'm fairly confident that it's clean. The water that's coming out of the pipe smells totally normal, a little bit vinegary, but that'll come out pretty quickly once we've run a little bit more water through the system. And so I am now hooking up the, the water kind of the way it should be, running through the bottom door, closing the door off so that, you know, mice or critters don't get in there and just making sure everything's good, cleaning up the door and all that. And the hot water heater there has been prepped. So I'm gonna refill that up again. Here comes Christy because right now, as I'm doing this project, she's going around and actually going through and looking for cracks in moldings and things on the side and basically seeing if there's any sort of stuff that she can fill with this silicone caulk that she has in her hand major cracks or anything that need to have silicone in them i was just thinking of that too right there i don't see anything there's going to be water in here so it's not going to stay anyway hey look at that i know they're not playing around i want to make sure there's no issues there this is the stinky spot so So the official word is that solved our problem. The water in the house is perfect. It smells fresh, delicious. I'm actually going to try drinking the water out of the rig again. But not before I put the actual filter into the rig that's supposed to be in the rig. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the water off and depressurize the system again so that I can open that up and not get water all over the place. And then I'm going to put this in, which was in the kitchen cabinet. And I guess our bad for not checking that that was there to begin with, but also we probably should have gotten the green filter, the Clear 2.0 filter, right away. We just didn't know. That's, that's us being noobs and not knowing. So this is what that thing looks like. It's a pre-filter right here. And then, and this can be pulled off and then hand washed. And then this piece here is the disposable piece. And you need to change that about every three or four months, depending on how bad your water is. And uh, they're about, well, I got this one for 24 bucks from uh, Camping World, which was a smoking deal. But they had a limited one, otherwise I would have bought like four of them, so I'd have a whole year's worth. But anyway, um, I think they're regularly like 35, that, which is still reasonable. And when you buy um, this one, you, it gives you this automatically. And so that's kind of cool, like added bonus. Anyway, that's what we got for you today. Thanks for watching, guys.